Okay, dear student, let us see what is there in this question. In a photoelectric effect experiment, a beam of light is incident on a metallic surface W in a vacuum. Okay, so this is just a photoelectric uh, arrangement. No problem. The graph shows the current I as it varies with the potential difference V when three different beams X, Y, Z are incident on W at different times. X and Y have the same frequency. Y and Z have the different density. Okay. First of all, this uh, behavior that they have drawn, it is not that linear, by the way. So it's basically, it goes like this. It's like this. And this is the stopping potential. So stopping potential shows you about the frequency, like what is the frequency that you were using. And uh, now what you do is, um, like we change the intensity so it was found that the kinetic energy of the electron was not changing so the graph goes somewhat like this so these two lines are not that very linear they are very curvy linear i would say but in this graph they have shown it to be linear so don't get confused in the first place now so this graph is going like this this graph is going like this when is this graph created this graph is created when these two have the same frequency but different intensity so y and z which are closing here at the same point, I will say they have the same frequency, but different intensity. Same frequency and different intensity. And if you have the different intensity, like the stopping potential is directly related with the frequency. So if this stopping potential is more now, it means that the frequency is bigger. Frequency is more for X. So X is having a different frequency than Y. Now the point number one says X and Y have the same frequency. Now that cannot be <clears throat> because if they have the same frequency, they will be having the same stopping potential. Okay. So uh, the stopping potential is not coming out to be the same for X and Y. Y and Z have different intensities. Absolutely correct. And Y and Z have the same frequency. Absolutely correct. So two and three is absolutely correct. Now these graphs are like, uh, quite um, okay to understand it's easy to understand but then there is another variation in which you have the same intensity now that is very very peculiar graph when when you have the same intensity what happens at that time is we would be doing it in some other question by the way but here i'm just going to give you a, a overview so if you have the same intensity something of this kind happens like they have different frequencies but same intensity So they may or may not have the same intensity, by the way. But if even if they have the same intensity, this is what you get. Now, this color, like this will be having a, a lower frequency. So that will be red. And this is having higher frequency that can be taken as violet. So you can just imagine it. In the case of red, you have more current. In the case of violet, you have lesser current. But in the case of violet, the electrons are moving with a higher kinetic energy. In the case of red, they are moving with lesser kinetic energy, but there are more number of electrons. And that is why there is more current in the case of red. This graph is for same intensity. By the way, this is not asked here in this question. This is just an extra information. We would be needing it in some other question. We will see. But for this question, the answer will be 10, 3. Let's see now. Absolutely correct. The answer is 2 and 3. So this is Professor Varun. Thanks for watching the video. All the best.